seriously on Home and Away. You're right. I have been avoiding you. In fact, I can't spend any time with you at all anymore. Don't cut yourself off from people that you care about. It's not the answer. What I do know is that I need you in my life. Hey. Hey. Uh, careful, you might get in trouble for kissing on the job. Oh, well, my shift is finished and neither of them are here, so we don't have to worry about it. Well, in that case... Oh, I have your history textbook. Great. Great. Maybe you can come over later and we can study. Uh, yeah, I could get a lot done. Maybe we would, eventually. I can't. Charlie's still angry at me about last night. What is with your mother, anyway? I mean, it always seems like she's got something against us or one of my brothers or... I don't know. I mean, Brax stirs her up as well. You know, if we could get them to play nice, maybe they'd go easy on us. Yeah, good luck with that. They're like pit bulls at each other's throats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes, ten minutes. How is anything amazing supposed to happen in ten minutes? Well, Lee's going to be finishing our shift in. I just don't think I can perform under that kind of pressure, shall we? Think of it as a challenge. <laughs> hey, what's, what's going to happen when we can't find a few spare minutes at this place? We'll find a hotel, hey? Secret rendezvous. No, no, but seriously, like, how's it going to work between us? Shut up. Ten minutes. <laughs> I love your usual skinny cap. Yeah, with a double shot and takeaway. I've got so much reading to do before I come back to work. Mm. I tell you what, I open a book at night and fed income, I'm dead to the world. And I don't get how you kids can understand all that textbook mumbo jumbo. It's like Chinese to me. Whoa, creepy. What? I'm missing your gorgeous smile. I can't wait to see it again. I can't think about anything but you. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't find it very romantic, then. No, I don't recognise the number and they didn't even leave their name. Well, well, well it, it could be a secret admirer. Yeah, or a crazy stalker. <laughs> I love the way you kids always look on the bright side of things. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah. All right, back in 20, I'm on the mobile if you need me. What's all that stuff for? Oh, it is for the homeless shelter. I've over-ordered on stock. I thought Elijah could use it. Oh, say hello to him, poor me. Oh, just dropping it off, probably wouldn't even see him. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so there's, um, you know, canned asparagus, um, tomato, mushroom. There's a whole lot of things in here that I figured you could use. It's very generous of you, but you really didn't need to bring it down. One of my volunteers was going to do the restaurant run this afternoon. Yeah, I know. But, well, I also wanted to say thank you for helping out with that woman yesterday. Really didn't do much. A few phone calls. Brax is the one that fixed the car and gave Kathy a job. I mean, he's the one that you should really be thanking. I'm not just talking about the practical things. I saw the way you spoke to her. You gave her hope. Your hope won't feed her children or put a roof over their heads. No, but it'll keep her going until she's able to get out there and get those things. I wish I could believe that. When are you going to stop being so hard on yourself? I'm not being hard on myself. I'm just being honest. So how can I give anyone guidance when I'm lost myself? Well, maybe if you stop shutting everyone out, if you occasionally let someone in, you'd find your way. I hope does work both ways. Anyway, I'm sorry. Look, I, I didn't mean to come down here and attack you. So no, no. It's probably what I needed. Could kick up the butt. Leah. Thanks for the food. Anytime. Yeah, I saw you out there yesterday. Yeah, you're not bad. But I promise you, after an hour with me, you'll be looking amazing. Satisfaction guaranteed, all your money back. Anyway, have a think about it. Give me a call anytime. So, how's business? Uh, yeah, it's all right. You know, it's probably a little slow at the moment, but I'm looking at the big picture, planning to diversify. <laughs> yeah, I should tell my business studies lecturer that hooking up comes under the title of diversification. Well, in the real world, it's called drumming up business. Romeo, I didn't mean it like that. Kitchen duties, Chris. Come on.
Hey, can I help you? Hey, I'm looking for Janelle. Uh, Janelle's away for a week. Oh, my name is Elijah. Maybe I could help you. I would probably help me start off with a name. Billy. You hungry, Billy? Look, you've missed breakfast, but I could make you a sandwich. Cool. Thanks. Come in. I haven't seen you around here, Billy. I was at a halfway house up the coast, but there was a hassle and I sort of got kicked out. Oh. What kind of hassles? Nothing. Yeah, nothing that was my fault. You got to ask so many questions, or...? I got to ask all these questions in order to know how to help you. So where have you been staying since the halfway house? Under the bridge. One of the old guys up there told me about this place. Said, Janelle, look after me. I don't think we have any room in the house. I don't have anywhere to go. And I don't know what to do. Well, you don't have any family or friends you could contact? No. Look, I don't need a bed. I can sleep here, please. Sorry, mate. It's against the rules. But, I mean, I could put you on the list for Monday. I can't sleep on the street again. You don't understand. Look, I do. Okay. I understand. I'll sort something out. You won't have to sleep on the streets. I promise I'll find you a bed. Really? Yeah. Just grab a seat in the lounge room. I'll bring out your sandwich and make a few calls. Do you have any plans for your day off? No, not beyond reading the paper. Cool. Why? What's going on? Well, at the risk of sounding cheesy, I was thinking maybe we should do something. Like, together. Really? Yeah, well, nothing lame. No, not with our reputations to protect. I'm sorry, I'm zipping in. Yeah, thank you. Well, you know, I just thought with everything going on lately, maybe we should have some bucked and bonding time. Yes, I agree. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, would a picnic be a little bit too Mary Poppins? No, not for me. Really? Yeah. In fact, I can get one of those um, big campers that they do here and take it with us. Very cool, yeah. All right, I'll order it. All right. Yeah, 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 she bought it. How are you going? <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Did you get my text? Kieran, hi. May I? Sure. I remembered you said at the party you worked here, so uh, I thought I'd drop by. And you didn't buy my text. I'm um, sorry, I just I didn't know the number, so... <laughs> I suppose I should have guessed you got half the blokes at uni chasing you. Yeah. <laughs> I meant it when I said I couldn't stop thinking about you. That, that's really sweet, but you kind of caught me at a bad time. I'm, my break's over and I'm about to go back to work. Oh, well, um, I was wondering if, if you'd like to go out with me sometime. Uh, well, now that I have your number, can I get back to you? How about I wait here for your answer and maybe we can go somewhere when you knock off? You might have to wait a while. I mean, I'm working till close. So if I stay, is that going to be enough time for me to talk you around? <laughs> that depends on how good a talker you are. <laughs> so, who's the good sort, girlie? And where did you meet him? At a party. He's the uh, mystery admirer. Ah, so he's not a crazy stalker then. Close. He's an ag student. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, he's nice. He's in the country. Well, the love country boys are okay. Sure, they're a little bit different, a little bit rough and tumble, but they're all right. Well, um, Irene, maybe you find yourself a country romance when you're in Queensland. Oh, love, wishful thinking, but I won't hold me breath. Queensland? Yeah, I'm heading up to uh, help Gypsy out with Lil for a couple of weeks. So, there'll be some free shifts if you're interested. Unless, of course, you've got absolutely no time between uni and the new boyfriend. 
A few extra shifts would be great. And he's not my boyfriend. Oh, give him a chance, Dal. Bush blokes are nothing. If not, this is...